Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My call sign is November 9. We are continuing on with Wasteland 3. Now I think we just bought a bunch of weapons and stuff. We gotta go back to Steel Town and save them. Hopefully uh, the game didn't Every punish us. Uh, for waiting. So we'll see. We'll see if the game punishes us for waiting by destroying Steel Town, in which case, who cares? Probably didn't. It hasn't been that long. Frank and Shooter here. Time to get to work on this nail minigun. First, I gotta hook up a high pressure line to the gun. Um, somehow, it's gonna take a lot of welding and shit. And, uh, drilling some holes in this thing. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Stay tuned. So our vehicle is a little bit faster with this turbo thing, gumabobber on it. Am I even going the right way? Uh, whoops. Snowed in, shine mountain, not going there. Oh yeah, we're going the right way. Almost. Alright, one more time into Steel Town. I hope everybody's enjoying the playthrough. Turn the tide. Hi, we're here. Oh, you mean by killing people? All right. Uh. from right here. Alright, Leroy Brown. What are we going to do, Leroy Brown? I'm going to throw out a turret. Let the turret do a lot of our dirty work. That's it. That thing didn't do a whole lot of damage. Alright, tell them off, Lucia. That wasn't terrible. We will move behind cover with Mercy. Oh, our vehicle. No, don't do that. Just drive forward. I 
keep forgetting to get the clone reactivated. I am dumb. At least it looks like they're using <coughs> lethal weapons now. Uh, let me switch to Leroy Brown so you can go revive. I don't think there are any robots to hack around here. So we will move back up and use a heal on ourselves. Alright, Miss Wesson. Oh. I'm gonna move away from everyone else. Marshall Kwan needs to heal himself. Two pretty good hits. Alright. Put the mark out. Well, that was that. Beautiful. Incredible. Almost roasted that poor pig to death. Let's move up the burn unit. Ow. 
Dog bots getting some kills. Um, I think the bad guys are getting their ass kicked right about now. Careful there, Provost. All right. Oh, well, we missed. Leroy Brown will take care of him. Uh, Marshall Kwan. Let's not put all our eggs in one basket here. In terms of who we're attacking. Let's see if Mercy can finish off this guy. Yes, she can. Alright, let's move our vehicle up. I don't really want to destroy the turret, but I have to. Um, I got an achievement for running over my own turret. Let me go to my vehicle first. I think we can... I'm very leery about doing this. For, I don't want to do friendly fire, but let's try it. Alright, that worked. They're both dead. Uh, Alright, that worked. No friendly fire. town would have died today if you hadn't shown up. Great work. Let me give you something to show our gratitude. All right, 20 more Tellurium steel. I'll take it along with all this loot, which probably amounts to not much stuff. All right, only one person died. Oh, Leroy Brown leveled up. Four points. I guess we'll just do what we can in the first aid there. Uh, we see a Wesson. Needs a heal. 
and Mercy died. Okay, that's everything. I think that's the last time we got to go to Steel Town. My vehicle's way up here, isn't it? Alright, where is my vehicle? I guess I don't know. Alright, so that should be the end, the end of Steel Town. What are we going to do next? Well, I got to get my clone back. And then we got to go to the mine, maybe, and rescue Bulb. This here's the Porter homestead outside Denver. The oil's flowing again. Honest to God, I didn't think we'd last another day. Now, we got our heat back and enough to spare to run the generator at night. The missus is cooking up something special to celebrate. Oh, it's gonna feel good to have hot food again. I don't know who got the oil flowing again, but as far as this old farmer's concerned, you're a bunch of goddamned heroes. Thank you. No problem, old man. Lug nuts. Hey now, it's the Desert Rangers again. You all been making a name for yourselves since the last time we met. Looking to trade? We here, the Arapaho, are the best mechanics in Colorado. Would you mind looking at our Kodiak? You all are buttering me up one side and down the other, but sure, why not? Show us what you got. Just some odds and ends I've taken in trade. Might be useful. All right, what does Lugnuts have? I think we have a better machine gun than that. I don't really know if we can use a lot of this stuff. Let me look at my ammo. We definitely need 762 ammo, and he has a fair amount. So, let's purchase this. Thanks, Lug Nuts. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. Not yet. All right. We're going to stop in, we're going to get our clone reconstituted, and then we're going to head to the Tellurium Mine. As you can see, it's got the little indicator up there at the top of the screen. So that's what we're going to do next. I think we're pretty much done with the right side of the map, and the big stuff, except for one thing on the right side. The big stuff is left on the left side of the map, including Aspen. We may not get to Aspen this episode, but I am definitely endeavoring to do that uh, this weekend. Oop, I went the wrong way. I'm sorry to hear you killed that synth. They're not all bad, you know. Can you clone one of us? I, mm, I suppose there's no harm in trying again. I suppose. Go ahead. I think the clones get weaker as you reconstitute them. That's just my guess. All right, he should be coming out of there any minute now. He says, like, ba 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 ba. Alright. So we're good. It was. It was word ish, right? Is ra a word? I guess so. How long since you took a break? Oh, fine. Come on. How long? All right, come on, Morning Star. Let's go. Take some chances and expand man's horizons. Da 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 to the Tellurium mine. I think there's a skill book there, which we will probably need. I don't remember where the rest of them are, though. There may come a point where I have to resort to the internets to find all the skill books.
Uh, we are going up there. All right. We're just going to keep heading this away. And then we're going to hang a left right up here. Things we've been hearing about you lately makes it hard to trust you. But we still need to eat, so if you want to trade. All right, we're just going to spam the kiss ass. Let the others talk you down. It ain't much. Yeah, I know it ain't much. They do got ammo, though. What other ammo do we need? Huh. I don't have a ton of cash right now. I am waiting to sell some junk. All right. This should take us right up here. To the Denver outskirts. Here is the Tuluria Mine. A cabin in a canyon near a mine. The message we got said something about Martians. Martians. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Yeah, Martian, Don't know what else they could be. Showed up right out of the blue like they stepped off a flying saucer. Reckon the Martians want my Tularium. So they sent their war machines to jump my clean. This here's my Tularium mine, you see. Well, mine. True. So you're telling us that robots from Mars have taken over your mind. Yes, sir. <coughs> Wait till you hear here, Mars. Now, <coughs> I bet you're asking yourself how I'm going to prospect my goal. But know the difference between a Martian death machine and some old scavenger robot. I we get scavengers poking around up here all the time. Nothing. She got her 
glad down here to call for help. I've been waiting on you folks ever since. I ain't seen Trudy for a while now. I'm getting worried. <laughs> Can you do something about these dang robots? Don't worry, Bob. We'll take care of it. I knew you was good folks the minute I laid eyes on you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mine's just over that hill yonder. Find Trudy and chase them dang robots off my claim. <laughs> One more thing. If you find Trudy, keep it well. You. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you'd bring her necklace back. There's some codes written on it that I need to run the mine. If you give them safe for me. I'll be waiting here when you're done. Good luck up there. All right, quickly let's ransack his cabin. The Nimrod's Guide to Teluria Mining. Get more out of your mine in 10 easy steps. Somebody stinks. Strange smells and their sources. Judging by all the cans scattered around, Bulb really loves baked beans and dog food. Oh, quick fire magazine. Well, I will definitely take that. Uh, is Trudy a person or a dog? Found a moldy sock. Can we charm? There was an animal here. Doghouse. Numerous small toys filled the doghouse. A small sign above the entrance reads Trudy. All right, so Trudy presumably is a dog and not a person. Where did that chicken go? Or cat. Or fox, whatever you are. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Foxy Moxie, leadership range. Again, we really don't need that for that character, but we need an animal because the uh, last one we had, the chicken died. Oh, there's a synth up in here, folks. All right, here's a robot. This scavenger is heavily damaged. It lies in a pool of leaking fluids. It's power plant emitting a faint stuttering whir. Sounds like the tilt wheel in my car. Uh, its single undamaged eye studies you as you approach a faint glimmer of power flickering in its depths. Mechanic 6. Attempt to repair the robot. Most of the robot's vital components are damaged beyond repair, and its power supply is on the verge of failure. If you move quickly, you could try to repair the robot's voice box, or just strip it for parts instead. We will repair the voice box. As you reconnect the voice box, its speaker lets out an agonized squawk. You smell burning plastic, and the robot utters a few tortured words. The shutter racks the robot's chassis. The wood of the power plant stutters and falls silent, and the robot's one eye goes dark. All right, now we'll loot the robot. We didn't get anything. All right, so meat, um, that's something since say. And we got the modem sounds, so I know there's a synth in here. And they were saying, help us. Uh, quickly, let's see what's in here. HE fuse linkage and a tub, a molo tub. All right, there's our synth. All right, we killed the important person. That was the synth, I think. Leroy Brown, can we do a hack-a-shack here on anybody? I don't think we can. Uh, 
we will run and activate the computer, which will probably open this trapdoor job. All right. Just move back behind cover. Uh, Lucia Wesson. All right, I guess we ran out of free attacks. We'll move Lucia over to get her out of her veils' way. No, Marshal Quan, don't. Uh, don't kill everybody. All right, one dead. Ooh, that went off nicely. Two dead. Good job, Marshal Quan. Mercy. Not enough AP. We'll switch to our electronic weapons. And... Uh, save it. Oh boy, I need to get to taming some robots. That Scorpatron looks like he's not playing around. Oh shit. Clone, I love the way you don't back down, but that might be the wrong guy to go after. Just saying. Provost, what are you doing? Alright, let me uh let me hack one of these guys. Alright, we hacked one guy. I'm gonna take out the other one. Oh, I didn't mean to attack that guy. Oh well. Uh, boy, I don't know about getting Lucia Weston this close to anything. She does not have enough health. Let's rally everybody instead. Switch to our shotgun. Maybe we can do a little bit more damage with this. All right, Marshal Quan. Took out the saw pup. Can we heal remotely the robot? No. Um, let me go up here then. Can I use the computer? No, I didn't say shoot the computer. Alright, Mercy. Oh, beautiful hit. One more time. Oh my god, yes! Incredible job. Thank you so much. Alright, Ogre. Uh... Let's just run across the map too, why not? Burn unit. We will go loot. There is Earl's head, mission critical item. And a bunch of junk. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, because I'm out of ammo. You have angered the clone. He's gonna take you out. 
Look at that. All done. Alright, all that's left is the shock dog. Clone, don't get killed. Alright. How can he not shoot from there? Oh well. Guess I can't attack from there. All right, there we go. Oh, where is Mark? Get over there. Save, save the clone. Oh shit, I saved the wrong guy. Where's the clone? <sighs> All right, good. That's the most important thing, we save the clone. Here is Dog Corpse. Dog collar Trudy 31474. Sorry, Trudy. All right, so that's the Teluria mine, everybody. And we got Earl. And get paid. We're sorry, Bulb Trudy, the dog. If it helps, don't think we suffered it. She suffered any. We brought back her collar like you asked. got them all, but now the mine is blocked by wreckage that I didn't see anywhere. <laughs> Ain't no pile of scrap metal gonna stop old Bob. No, sir. I got just the thing to clear that mess out. <laughs> that mine going to get in no time. See, sure is a relief not to have them dang robots taking my ore. All right, so I think that's that. I don't think there's anything else in here to loot or anything. We had a couple of people level up. One of them is Marshal Guan. Put it into speed. And first to aid. And we're very close to maxing that out now. And Miss Wesson. We're maxed out on intelligence, awareness, and luck. So I could do this, increase our strike rate, and I think we will go into charisma from now on. And we've got five points. Uh, 
Uh, we'll go into Animal Whisperer. Um, I think there's going to be an animal later on we're going to want to recruit where we need that maxed out. Let me look real quick at my skill books. Uh, brawling, don't have a character that uses that. Melee combat. Uh, whoops. Oh, well, let's go ahead and max out melee combat then for Leroy Brown. All right, explosives, sneaky shit, sniper rifles. All right, we're close on those, but no cigar. And same thing with explosives. All right, back into the vehicle. like we got about uh, just under 20 minutes left for this episode. Oh, there's the Scorpatron. the edge of the map over here. Friendly warning to anyone in the Denver area. You may want to avoid Union Station. We've gotten reports that it's inhabited by a violent gang called the Hardheads. I guess you gotta be stubborn to be a crook. Apparently their leader is Dean. We'll make some repairs. Not sure the Kodiak needs any. Here we found a lootable thing. Colorado dollars. I uh, don't want to go too far south over here. Oh, we're not that far. I just don't know if there's a whole lot over here that I can remember. Sorry, now I'm looking at the minimap going, oh, I need to, I need to eliminate all of the stuff that is not uh, outlined, so it can't possibly be left. Ambush. Uh, we will just avoid, avoid the ambush for now. Affirmative HQ details, please. The victim is Kim Hai and her sister. They're being pursued by bandits, though details were scarce on enemy ordinance. Kim has indicated that time is a critical factor. What are they paying? Yeah. Nothing if they're dead. They're on the move, sending you coordinates. Time is of the essence, Team November. Over and out. All right, so it looks like it's due east. All right, here we are at the ghost town. The skeletal remains of an abandoned exurb. Must be a fancy way of saying somewhere outside the suburb. The hundred families often employ mercenaries as bodyguards or enforcers. I wonder why that is a tip in this loading screen. Interesting. Uh, 
I forgot to make ammo. He's about to be out of ammo. That isn't good. All right, the fabulous Leroy Brown. That was an awful lot of people over there, Leroy. We will throw our turret right there. And then we will go into ambush mode. All right, Lucia Wesson, we're gonna push up here. Get a lucky movement. Well, that shotgun ain't playing around. Switch to our revolver and go into ambush mode. Marshall Kwan. Nope, don't do that. Maybe right here. That was pretty good. Mercy, can you uh, shoot anyone else? How about this guy? Well, alrighty then, that escalated quickly. We'll switch back to our regular weapon, the Black Dragon or Red Dragon or whatever it was. Uh, there are not a lot of good cover over here. This we'll just try to get into cover next turn. Oh, well, maybe we can move her into cover by moving the vehicle. That would be ideal. Yes! Alright, don't ruin the cover, you stupid car. Alright, let's see if we can get two for the price of one. I only got one kill out of it. Good hit there. Our last Molotov cocktail. Can we get all five? Um, burn unit. Can't do anything else. Leroy took that guy out. We'll again go into ambush mode. Lucia Wesson. All right, Marshall Kwan, good job there. We'll move him up behind cover. That was weak compared to the this thing. I guess maybe we'll just move over one. And uh, sorry about that. And hmm. Yeah, we'll just save it. All right, my vehicle. All 
Alright, there's one kill. Two kills. Leroy run through flames and finish him off. Yep, he sure can. Oh, and there are some good weapons in there. Alright, who needs healing? That's the same thing I already have. Uh, pulse rifle, I think I have something similar to that. So we will field strip that. Anybody advance? Burn unit advanced. Goodness. That's all we can do with it, I guess. Alright, so that was that. Uh, anybody, anybody need healing, Quan? Razorback. The clone again. The clone is like, oh, I'm cold. <laughs> Provost seems fine. Alright, ammo box. I almost missed that. Alright, let's see what's up with these women. What's going on here? She closed the hand over her mouth, eyes downcast. Radio kicks on. Attention, Rangers. This is Boss Kogan of the Hundred Family. I heard on the grapevine that you've taken up with a pair of no good, debt skipping lowlifes. So you know, we have taken up a position outside. We are armed and dangerous. But this doesn't need to come to violence. I am a reasonable man, and I am happy to negotiate. All right. Why are they after Yoon? He wants his money back, but he's gonna have to take an organ instead. I don't have it. Despite her bravado, Yoon's face is drawn and her eyes are frightened. Yoon. She borrowed money from Kogan. Too much money. But it was only so we could create a church. A place that other Catholics could... I did it because I wanted to spend money on dumb shit, okay? I... Shit! I'm too much of a fuck-up to deserve help, but my sister... She's gonna suffer too if Kogan catches up with us. Help us, please. For her sake. So, one sister borrowed too much money, the other sister tried to help her out, and is really totally innocent in all this. Come on, we'll help you work things out with Kogan. It says confront. I think that might be too optimistic a word. Now see here, Rangers. Yoon He is a low life thief. She 
deserves the Patriarch's justice for stealing from him. What do you mean, thief? I don't know what those lying devil women said to you. I'll have you know that they're thieves as well. They took a small fortune from my coffers. Is this true? I can't keep lying. Yoon, I'm sorry. He's right. But I didn't know what else to do. We were desperate. I'm sorry. So they both lied to us, I guess. Nice to see at least one of you is worthy of that Jesus fella you keep talking about. Well, you heard them, Rangers. They're thieves. Drag them back to Pillory Square. However, I'm a reasonable man. All I want is my money. Those two can go where they like after that, so long as they promise I'll never have to lay eyes on them again. Uh, maybe we can pay her for debt. No, that's not happening. Uh, more importantly, I don't know how much it is. You can keep shouting all you want, but your money's gone. There's no getting it back. You might react badly to that. How about if Yoon spends a few years in indentured servitude? Well, what a colonial idea. No, Rangers! It's a life sentence! Should have thought about that before she took my money. Either way, I'm not a Since this kid here is so desperate, I'm going to offer a compromise. These two have got to work for me for seven years. After that, we're done. No, 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 no. He can't take my sister. This is my fault. Rangers, please don't let him take us both. It's both of them or nothing, Rangers. By the authority of the Patriarch, we're placing these women in your hands. The Patriarch's jurisdiction, but I'll take it. Come along, ladies. You fucking assholes, you fucking jerks! You. This was clearly God's will. He wants us to make amends. That's the spirit, Kim. <laughs> Rangers. Oh, thanks for bringing them in. A little something for your trouble. Come along. All right, uh, I made that decision because we've been kind of backing the 100 families. And um, by doing so, clearly we increased our reputation instead of hurting it. So, also I don't particularly like that they lied to us. Um, you know, to me that should have consequences. All right, a max 17. Is that better than this thing? Yes. All right, anything else over here? A safe. All right, let's crack that open. All right, extended choke, a satyr, which we already have. Right. I think that may be just about everything. Hey, there's a cat. Or a dog. Um you. You can dismiss the fox. And instead we will get you to recruit the doggo. Can we recruit the dog? I guess not. Never mind then. Um, let's go back to the world map. All right. I don't know if anybody agreed with how I handled that, but that was that. And that is going to be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did hit that like button, hopefully next episode we can make it to Aspen. And I hope you join me for that. Let me get a quick save in here.
Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode.